World War III has either the weirdest or probably more accurately the most disastrous development timeline I have ever seen. Yesterday on their Discord, World War III had a brief announcement that stated you could no longer access the game through their publisher's launcher, which is MyDot Games. Instead, World War III is going to utilize its own launcher, and the publisher has pretty much been scrubbed from nearly every aspect of the game itself. So, what is going on here? Put on your tinfoil hats and let's talk about it. But first, this video is brought to you by Opera GX, the only browser I use on a daily basis. Whether it's my computer or mobile, I'm constantly on it. Why this browser? Because it's a gamer browser, that's why. First of all, every gamer loves customization. Whether you want a custom wallpaper in the back of the browser to admire yourself, or you want an animated background or custom colors and themes, or even the ability to connect certain lighting, there's more freedom here than you can shake a stick at. But along with that, you've got the legendary GX Control, where you're able to set hard limits on your browser to prevent bloating on your system, whether that's the CPU, the RAM, the network, you're in control. I've been using it for over a year now, and I would never go back to another browser, and that's why I know you'll love it. Click the link down below to grab it for free and support the channel. Thank you, Opera GX, for sponsoring this video. All right, gamers, welcome to the channel. My name is Tacky. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's dive into this conspiracy world. Like I said, yesterday, World War III announced that they were going to be utilizing their own private launcher, and the game would be removed from the My Games website and launcher. If you happen to not know what World War III is, it's a modern first-person shooter that's basically been an alpha or beta over the past four years, with the most recent iteration being a closed beta available only to the supporters who originally purchased the game back in 2018 or 2019, or those who purchase closed beta packs. The closed beta release was last year, and I think either September or October, with a completely free-to-play open beta expected to be released in March of this year. March came, and March went, and no open beta. And now it's nearly September, and still no open beta. Only a closed beta with about, I think, 70 people playing at once. Now, I find all that to be very, very strange in itself. When it came to the closed beta, there were a couple patches and things that needed fixed, like sounds and animations, but those eventually got fixed. And honestly, at that point, I expected an open beta released very shortly after that, because while there were some issues still prevalent, I still thought the game was in decent shape and was pretty much ready for the open beta. I was completely wrong. They ended up doing stress tests along the way, and every stress test they've done so far has stressed the limits of the server. They struggled to maintain solid performance at around 6,000 players or so at once, so it was a little bit difficult for the game. Along with that, there were some difficulties connecting with friends and maintaining parties. Really, things were just kind of a mess. And then after all this, they went silent. There were frequent updates for stability and matchmaking and server performance, but overall, nothing that would make players want to get back into the game. And then we come to this announcement. There are a few breadcrumbs here that we can pick up and get an idea of what's going on. First and foremost, MyDot Games is their publisher. Why in the world would the publisher remove a game from their site when they're hoping to make money from them? That in itself is very, very interesting. I looked on the My Games launcher and sure enough, the game is removed. I can't find it anywhere. I do know there were some complaints about the launcher. People thought it was malware or something like that, but that certainly isn't the case. And I don't think that they would change something just for a few complaints like that. And so I looked on the new launcher here and My Games also is nowhere to be found. My Games was on the agreement checks right when you loaded up the platform. But other than that, I don't see a logo anywhere on this launcher. Next breadcrumb we have is back in July. They released a video showing off their new map, Smolensk. This is a map that was expected to be in the open beta release, but My Games doesn't have their logo here. Except for the very end, down in the copyright info area, they have their name, but still no logo here, which is unlike every other video that they've done before this. They've always put their logo at the beginning with the Farm 51 logo. And then lastly here, and probably most telling, My Games is completely removed from the starting splash screens when the game launches. As a publisher, you would expect that to be right there. So My Games is essentially removing their name from every aspect of the game. Which leads me to wonder, is there something going on with this publishing deal here? Did World War III somehow lose their publishing deal? Did My Games see something with a development that made them change their mind? My Games is something like a subsidiary of VK, which is based out of Russia, so that's the parent company. So maybe something is going on with the business side here or the transactions when it comes to this. I believe My Games though itself is based out of the EU, so I feel like that shouldn't be too much of an issue, but maybe since the parent company is based in Russia, the sanctions are somehow affecting this. I, I really don't know. This all doesn't add up. All I know is My Games is removing their name from this title, and that doesn't make any sense from a marketing perspective. If you're going to publish a 
game, you're gonna want people to know that you are the publisher and it's apparent that that's the opposite of what they want right now. So I, I really don't know what's going on here. Look, I'm passionate about this game. I had very, very high hopes for this game because it's got some solid gunplay and mechanics. I've enjoyed the past four years covering this game, but man, has it been a roller coaster. I suppose this maybe explains the delay a little bit. I know the original plan again was March, and that would have been a great time to release. This past summer was basically dry in terms of first person shooters, but now who knows when it's coming. The game itself has been in development since probably 2016 and maybe even earlier than that. It had an early access release and then it started tanking. It was pulled from the Steam store after a publishing deal with MyDot Games. It was released in closed beta under My Games. And now we're waiting for an open beta with an undisclosed date and a publisher that doesn't want to be shown. So it's safe to say the development of this game has been an absolute train wreck. I suppose if it is a publishing issue though, that explains the delay a little bit, but man, what a mess. What are your thoughts though? Where does the game go from here? What is going on? Why is My Games gone? Let me know what you think down below. If you enjoy the content, that subscribe button is asking to be pressed. We're three-fourths of the way to 100,000, and I'd really like that silver play button before my third child gets here late December. Yes, I'm using that as an emotional appeal. I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay tactical.